Cheese Bond's a big draw here at Heritage Park. They yeah. have lots of highlights. For me, I love trains mm -hmm. because deep down, I'm five years of age. Um, anyway, you so I had a chance. Face, too. Yeah, exactly. Um, I had the chance to ride uh, in the engine around the mile long track here at Heritage Park um, with Russ and Sheridan. Russ was the engineer, Sheridan was the fireman on the train. Uh, normally, you have to sit in the, pass the passenger cars, right? The historic passenger cars, but I had a chance to roll up front. Before we got all aboard, though, we chatted with interpreter Bill Jones about the iconic train. They provided oil as a fuel, sometimes coal, but during the war, coal was very, it was very important to use it to make steel. So they burned oil in them, and the oil would heat up the boiler. The boiler would produce steam, which is gas, liquid gas, okay? And that, in turn, would push the engine along down the track. And it's quite picturesque to watch the train go around here at Heritage Park. There's two of them. I got to sit in or sorry, in Fireman Russ's chair. Excuse me, Fireman look Sheridan's Sheridan's so chair. Yeah, look at that. Kid in a candy <laughs> store, right? Lots of fun. Lots of fun. All kinds of gadgets, uh, dials. There's Russ, the engineer. He, uh, you know, has a beautiful view. Always watching on his side. Constant communication between uh, engineer Russ and Fireman Sheridan because you can only see one side of the train, right? So you have to talk to your partner about watching on the other side as well. Uh, there's actually two steam trains here at Heritage Park. One is always under constant maintenance. The one we were on uh, was, is from 1943. They also have an engine from 1912, which is really interesting. Uh, the train that we were on originally was used to haul troops and munitions during the war. Um, it was used in the U.S. as well in Vancouver to transport sulfur. Oil, as you heard, is the fuel, not coal, because coal was used during the war to, uh, it, well, it burns hotter than oil, so it was used to make steel, which they used for airplanes and ships and all kinds of things like that. And so they used oil in the trains to uh, get around the country and that type of thing. The oil is re-recycled oil, so it's used oil cleaned up to be used oh, again, kidding. which is really interesting, yeah. And a big thank you, by the way, to Russ and uh, Fireman uh, Sheridan for letting me into their, their homes, so to speak. Now, um, you can actually win doing what I did, be an engineer for a day. Heritage Park is currently hosting an engineer for a day contest. You get official Heritage Park train crew costume. You join the crew to prep the train for a day. There's a lot of stuff that you have to do before she starts to roll around the track. You get a one hour ride like I was. You blow the whistle. Awesome. You fun, actually totally. blow the whistle, which is great. And then you get a three-course lunch at the Selkirk Grill. Plus you get an engineer cap and bandana engineer for a day certificate. Right. That's Memento you photograph. Wish, did you get that by, to put by your desk? I may. Um, <laughs> raffle tickets is how you can win your chance, by the way. They're $5 each, or you get 5 for 20 bucks. Uh, there's a limited number of, of tickets, right? And then they're going to draw the winner's name during railway days at Heritage Park. That's uh, September 27th and 28th. The draw is made on September 28th. And, of course, tickets can be purchased online or here at Park Guest Services. What and I would run out and get one because it's fun. What a treat that would be. <laughs> Yeah, great price. It was lots of fun. You get the cap. I mean, you got to get you the get cap. You get a cap, and you get to blow the whistle. 